so very good evening friends today let us cover the balance uh, liquidation process regulations so regulation 36 it talks of asset sale report is any similar report generated during cirp period no no such report is prepared during cirp period so regulation 36 it talks of asset sale report on sale of an asset the liquidator shall prepare an asset sale report in respect of the said asset to be enclosed with the progress reports so this sale report is to be enclosed with the progress report because progress report as we have seen is to be submitted on quarterly basis so with when he is preparing the uh, as, uh, as quarterly progress report he will enclose with every quarter huh Yes, no, sir. In some of the are tied right to something. Okay, good. Okay. On sale of an asset, the liquidity. Disturbance there. Ajay? From others. Okay, okay. No issues. So, uh, Sri Vasuluji, please mute all. Sabko mute kar dije ek bari. You know? तो म्यूट करके एक बार फिर अनम्यूट कर लेते हैं नाउ आई होप इट इज ओके पर्टिकुल सर हाँ जी नाउ इट्स ओके ओके सो एसेट सेल रिपोर्ट सो ऑन सेल ऑफ एन एसेट द लिक्विडेटर शेल प्रिपेयर एन एसेट सेल रिपोर्ट in respect of the said asset to be enclosed with the progress report so whatever asset is sold in respect of that asset only the liquidator shall prepare an asset sale report and it is to be enclosed with the progress report and what it will contain it will contain the realized value cost of realization if any the manner and mode of sale If the value realized is less than the value in the asset memorandum, the reasons for the sale, the person to whom the sale is made, and any other details of the sale. Now, they can ask question like this: Which of the following is not to be included in the asset sale report? So, if we see regulation number thirty-six. Whether cost of that asset or WDB is to be enclosed or not? If they ask you whether in the asset sale report you will include the cost of that asset or WDB, what will be your answer? Cost. Not required, sir. Yes, it is not required. Right. So whatever is required and. if uh, you want to include it in any other details of the sale so that detail could mean uh, say uh, the gst realized or some such other thing re related to sale so any other details of the sale realized value is there cost of realization manner and mode of sale and if the value realized is less than the asset memorandum reasons for the sale the person to whom the sale is made and any other details of the sale may be some tds whether tds has been deducted or tcs has been deducted may be something of this now 37 regulation 37 realization of security interest by secured creditor so what it says a secured creditor who seeks to realize its security interest under section 52 shall intimate the liquidator of the price at which he proposes to realize its secured asset now the price has to be indicated by the secured creditor suppose he has uh, given a loan to the cd say for 100 crores and he is having a property then he has to indicate that okay i want to realize this security interest at this price so that the liquidator can decide the liquidator shall inform the secured creditor within 21 days of the receipt of the intimation under sub regulation 1 if a person is willing to buy the secured asset before the expiry of 30 days from the date of intimation under sub regulation 1 at a price 
higher than the price intimated under sub regulation 1 